Ja. Good afternoon guys, it is uh, Boxing Day. And on today's video, my wife and I take our new puppy Colby fishing at Castle Point in the Wairarapa for the first time. We certainly have an interesting fishing trip with so many failures, I almost gave up. But with perseverance... Nice, it's fighting eh? Yeah. Holy. We came away with the win. We then take you back to the kitchen where we cook up a delicious Korean meal using the waste parts of the fish. I hope you guys enjoy. I got shoes on so if I fall in I can still swim. Yeah, the super fish in the castle point is actually a lighthouse just over there which I'll show you as they're walking. And supposedly as you come up over this rise here I've already come and had a look but it drops off to 20 meters like really really fast. Um, so yeah the chance of a half hooker supposedly is feasible along with Taraki, Gurnard, Snapper and Kahi as always, but very excited. Supposedly there's not a lot of foul out here. So hoping for a win with the drone. Send out a big bait for a poker or something on the surf caster. And the classic six six hook rig out on the electric reel. Um, yeah, it might just get a bit hairy trying to land a fish. Have to get it up over the rocks with the waves, but we should be alright. So we should be able to get a fish up. Either over there, or just down off there, I don't know how big it is. Um, I reckon we go here, just out of this gut, because it's not too big. I'll be able to lift that up with the surf caster. Alrighty, immediately, uh, Dave's tip of the trip, straight away. If you get to a spot, try and get really good rod holder position straight at start. So you're not scratching the shit out of your rods. I was real lucky on these two little nicks here. I'm just going to set up with the surf cast to get first, get a bait out, and uh, then get into it. Alright, guys, so same, same rig as yesterday on the uh, Amp Release homemade sinker there. I'm just going to surf cast it out over that way so I don't snag this dude. Um, Get the drone up and get a big bait out. Out of gear. Yeah. Sweet. Alright, guys, there's birds diving straight out there. 500 meters there, look. Where are they? Still diving. There they go. Boom, boom, boom. Here. This is connecting to the wrong path. <laughs> Got my, my main line connecting here to my drone trace, which goes onto my treble swivel, which clips into a loop, which goes onto my drone. Here was some slack hunt. Oh, also, sorry, can you go over this side bump? I don't want this drone going anywhere near us. Yeah, should be right. And keep it on the ground hunt for now. Yeah. Okay. We've got GPS finally, so that's always a good sign. Yeah. Oh, why is the boat coming now? Not great timing. Oh, is that off? Oh, yeah, is that a gannet? Again, bloody hell. Oh, the birds are over there now, then ages away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try 
wrong wind warning already, eh? Six fifty. Right, yeah, I can knock it now, Hamber. Now? Yeah. Came off already, eh? Did it? I don't know. I don't know. Is it the, just the wind? It's still going, yeah, it should be right. Birds working just there guys. Oh there's birds working everywhere, it's a really good sign. Alright. Alright now we'll uh, just send this home and we sweet, check it, look at have a look at where we are. And have a look over here. We can see that lighthouse that we walked up to before. It's crazy. Oh good. Now on the odd occasion, if there's a lot of wind, you end up with a huge warp in your line and it does become harder to knock the bait off the gannet sport release. To get around this, you can simply start winding in the line really quickly and keep that drone flying out as fast as possible so that the line momentarily goes tight and you can knock the bait off. In this case, I'd incorrectly assumed the bait had actually dropped off even when Jenny didn't think it had. And we only noticed that the bait was still attached to the drone when we'd flown the drone right back into shore. So that's like one of the first times it's actually not come off straight away and it just has heaved the wind guys, heaved the warp but we got there and um, we just had to refly it out again, it's pretty much at the same spot that it was. Come on, try it Nah, you probably won't get it tight. It's gonna land it on the rock. It's too hard to land it there. We got there in the end. That was a bit intense, but as always, down this fort, it might have struggled with that long line walk, but it never fails. Not yet, anyway. Now we pretty much wait. But I reckon we don't soak for too long. It's going to be pretty deep out there. About 30 meters, I think. All right, guys, we'll uh, see you guys. If I'm not sure if this is just a bait, eh? Holy! Something on there? Oh, you prick! Fucking <laughs> conger eel! Fuck! Yuck! What's that? It's a horrible thing to catch. What is it? It's a slimy blind eel. Eel? Yeah. Ugh. They're blind. Look at them. They're... They got no eyes. They're absolutely disgusting. Ah, like an alien. <laughs> Yuck. Still counts. <laughs> Never caught a blind eel surf casting before. I reckon that almost might be getting bites, eh? So scared of getting two eels because they just ruin your line. He might be alright though. I think there's only one hook. Yeah. Oh yeah, look. Yeah. What's what that? the that's the slime. Uh, that is fucking horrific. Is that dangerous? No. Nah, nah, nah. This is the first time I saw it. Yeah, they're not common. Yeah, yeah. They're not common. Yeah, jellyfish? No. No, blind eel. But you, we, you can eat that, yeah. Oh, if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> um, I eat a lot of stuff, but I'm not eating a blind eel. <laughs> yeah. And you 
wouldn't believe it. It got even worse. That's nothing to do with it, eh? That's nothing, it's something else. drone it was me but so I sent it like miles to the right but anyway it doesn't matter I've got so sorry about that uh, where's the yeah. yeah so after I got that blind ear we sent the reel rod and reel out on the drone it just drifted heaps it's not drifting anymore um, likely because I doubled the weight didn't know didn't have a drift issue with the surf caster so obviously didn't expect the same to happen with the drone but these things happen um, and unfortunately yeah, it tangled old mate and that put me in a bit of a negative spin wasn't really focusing i also had to lose a hook um got caught down on those rocks down there so there's only three hooks on my massive long line tracks now it's not good but anywho we're out here got to try and make the most but i guess these things happen sometimes they happen a little bit too much uh that was a bit of a doozy i'm not happy about it probably should have listened to jenny when uh she said i think it's drifting so it was drifting and he's just gone back to check on the dog. Should be right. It's got a fan going, but yeah, hopefully we can land something to eat. So this one, the one that was on the drone, was it? Uh, it was on this. Oh yeah. But same rig. Yeah. Um, don't want to get tangled up with you. That's no, why I was just coming to check which way you're going. You don't want to do that. <laughs> and I'm, now you already had one. I'm uh, trying not to. Trying not to. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, just fish wherever. Like, I'm trying yeah. to use enough enough sinker weight that it shouldn't matter but oh fuck. Hey, that was a fish hey. yeah no you brought me a huge amount of luck don't go anywhere <laughs> just got a hit guys while i was telling them we we're having a nightmare yeah boy yeah! Finally! Woo. All right, guys, we've got a long way to go. Look for the best. See you when we get closer. Got a bit of fight to us, guys. Jenny's ages away. She's not really on you. Ah. Get my phone out of my pocket. I'm gonna go over. My shoelaces away. All over. It's gonna get real, gonna get real, real quick. Love it. This is what I breathe. How good. Probably gonna have to like trace it up. Maybe just there. I don't know how much we've got to go. It wasn't out that far. The angle is looking pretty good. Ah, feels right. 
absolutely solid workout on the surf caster, eh? Oh, this brings me back. Uh, I don't know how much I am. See so trace. Let's just see some colour, hopefully. So much trace. Oh yeah, there's a fish, guys. Oh, it's a big gurnard! Fucking big gurnard! Anne, come here, please! Quickly! I just want you to hold this rod real quick. Please. Good timing, though. And then just hold it all. Face it to me. The rod. Yeah, okay, cool. Hold it. Three days. Oh, 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 woo, and donkey, woo, oh, get some, oh, I feel vindicated, I feel vindicated, what a massive, that's easily the biggest gunner I've ever caught in my life, the size of him, let's get some photos, oh, yes, Half of it's yours? Yeah, for the luck. <laughs> Probably. I'll tell you what, if I catch a second one, I'll give you a slave. <laughs> oh, wow, that's big. Beautiful. Thanks, mate. He came over asking if I was getting anything, and I was like, just down buzzers. And then my rod's like, oh, I'm not sure if the last thing recorded, I think I overheated, but got the gurnard sitting on water. Uh, we're going to send this out again. There's another Gurnard would be. Man. Yeah. It's a lot easier on a beach, <laughs> but then hey, sometimes you get Oh, exactly. Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Alright guys, we'll send this back out to, I think the last one was about 200 meters. Hopefully we get another goonie. That was sick. I was just about to give you guys a bit of a rundown. Just get that tension on, huh? Yeah. Because it's um circle hooks. You right? I was uh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Just wait, yeah. and then just strike the f out of it. Yeah. Not good at striking. You're right. You always catch the fish. It's coming back, eh? Yeah. 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 Wind down and then hammer into it. Yeah. Yeah. Wind down it. Yeah. Yeah. Now wind. That's it, isn't it? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that looks on. I think so. Nice. Good shit. Is that I don't know. It was hard as to tell when I got yeah. the gurnard. Do you think I I hope so. It's hard to tell if it's still on. So, we think it's on. There's no point Jenny winding in 300 meters and just kill it. <laughs> we'll get it closer and then. Have it back. <sighs> oh, I still love this rod and reel though. It's so much more fun than the electric, eh? Just a lot harder. But we did, when we rockfish back in the day, we only used surf casters. So keeps it higher. Alright, guys, we'll see you when we're a bit closer. You're getting in close now. Nice, babe. Nice, it's fighting, eh? Yeah. Okay, Trace is coming, drop it down, lower. Come, real quick. Go back. 
All right. Go back one more. More. All right. All right. Right this way. Keep winding. Hold up. Yeah. Holy! Not a big goonie! Okay. Woo! Fuck yeah! Dogs on dogs! Oh. Job, babe. Oh. Number two. You wanna get down next to it or take some photos? My arms are gonna be so sore tomorrow. Although you did oh. not come. Check that out guys, this huge roll on these gurnards. So we're not gonna let that go to waste. There's a big roll on the other one as well. And uh, I'll just, yeah, try and extract that out. Supposedly there's a Korean meal. What's it called, hun? Hmm? What's the Korean meal called? Old tongue. Old tongue. Fuck, I think I made a worse job with this one. Cut it like the last one. There we go. Yeah. You guys want to be in the video? Yeah. Yeah. Say hello, boys. Hello. hello. Let's see if they're any good luck. All right, kids. Um, no, you're all right there. You should be okay there, but just be careful of this thing. Don't. Get anywhere near the wings because they're really really nasty but it should go straight up but just be careful all right guys we're doing a uh, third time lucky hopefully with the skernard spectators today because it's pretty interesting you're off eh Pretty wicked, eh? Alright, we'll go back out to 250, eh? She's been an absolute ripper, guys. Just gurn it after gurn it. Pretty crazy fishing, to be honest. I'm absolutely stoked for all the shit starting we had with the tangle and just a lot of stress. Bit of anxiety, especially with the forecast of thunderstorms. I didn't know how high that tide was going to get. It was all a bit intense. But, anywho, we've made it. Uh, we've definitely got the fish on. Uh, if you guys like what you see uh, and you like this video, and you have subscribed yet, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, give us a like, leave a comment how you're liking this video. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep fishing and eventually see you back in the kitchen. Dog. He's just chilling in the car. I don't do me chilling literally. We have the fan and the shade up and all that, and he actually does stay cooler in the truck than in the sun, but it's just gone about 5.30 in the afternoon, so yeah, we can get him out. He's warm. Tinny's uh, on the last fish, I think she might almost be on, but see what happens. And then, pretty successful, very successful fishing trip, so I'm absolutely stoked. Bobby's actually just the chillest dog. Such a good fishing dog, eh, boy? Oh, he didn't want you to overheat. What an absolute ripper, though, honestly. Ridiculous. Considering I almost pulled the pin when, uh, <laughs> when I got that tangle after the blind deal. It's this close to just calling it, but we persevered and came over the wind, so I'm absolutely stuck. Just got this last one out here. Uh, yeah, if nothing, we'll uh, call it and head back to Greytown where we've got fancy stuff tomorrow. No fishing. Fishing is banned. <laughs> and with that, guys, it's a pretty strong sign. All bait on and no fish. About time 
we'll call it a day. Drove back to Greytown and got into some vineyards tomorrow. Hope you guys have enjoyed. We'll uh, see you back at the kitchen in a few days. What's up legends, we are back in the kitchen cooking something very special tonight it's because we've never done it before, never even done anything close to it. Uh, it is fish roe or fish eggs, gurnard fish eggs, ale tongue. That's right, eh? Ale tongue. Have a look. So that's our uh, gurnard roe out of two gurnard, it's plenty there. It's a hand for size, it's quite a lot. Jenny has whipped up a sauce. What's in the sauce, hon? Yep. Mm -hmm. Kuchugaru. Soy sauce. Crushed garlic. It's a bit lazy. Pepper. Oh, yeah. And ginger pepper. pepper. Cut up some courgette. Some daikon or uh, radish. Boil some, boil some fish stock. Let's do that sauce in there. You can see the row cooking away. Looks beautiful. Have a look at that. Alright, let's have a taste. Oh my gosh. Alrighty guys, I won't lie to you, I'm a little bit dubious because I'm not the biggest fan of roe. <laughs> I can't taste any roe. But it's got the saltiness and the seafoody flavour. So for me, that's a flippin' win. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. Thanks to my wife for this idea. Uh, it's really good. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that sub button. Give us a like. Leave us a comment if you like this video. Plenty more kitchen cooks to come. Well guys, we uh, got some gurnard frames here with the uh, gurnard sashimi in the fridge. Beautiful wagyu steak that we picked up in uh, Carterton, just out of Martinborough. And got some hash browns there. Just finishing off some courgettes that marinated. So I've uh, just glazed the steak with melted butter, salt and pepper, real basic. Make it beautiful, make it cook really well. Those flavours in on the pan. Let's get this puppy on there now. Yum. Absolutely beautiful. Alright guys, now with the uh, leftover oil and the steak fat in there. Got some old rubs here. Got that leftover marinade. The butter, literally just going to mix it all together. Lazy as. Throw it around this fish and get it on the fry pan. Chip him in. So there's really zero wasted here. Look at that. just in case you think I was playing with this uh, frame stuff. No wastage on this channel. <laughs>